we all know we're different from what we wear to the families that we come from, but not everyone is different in these ways. Some people can talk, but others can't, and even walk too. Today, I would like to help you understand people with special needs. For people with special needs, the world is a much more difficult place to maneuver in. It makes it harder for them to do things you and I take for granted. To help you understand the world of special needs, I introduce you to some of you with this. This person is my sister, Emma. Emma has many medical conditions. Doctors say she has severe neurological impairment, vision disorders, and seizures. Doctors call it epilepsy. She is also considered mentally retarded because she cannot talk or communicate like you and me. The doctors also say she has autism-like behaviors. Some people think this makes her dumb or unable to do lots of things, but it doesn't. My sister is the smartest person I know, and she loves to play baseball and go out to different places. She allows me to accept different people, whether it's because they have a disability or not. Let's talk about the first step to dealing with difference. Dealing with difference also includes how we treat people. Some people treat others fairly, while others don't. This is called bullying. The form I hate the most is when people start picking on a group of people that have a disability. One thing I hate to hear is the word retarded, because people are picking on kids that are mentally retarded. People like my sister. So the first step in dealing with difference is to stop hurting people that are different. Stop bullying. Handicapped people are all different. With my sister, she's lucky. She can walk while some people can't. However, she can't talk, which is hard on my family whenever she's mad and we don't know what she wants. Even though she can't talk, people need to accept that fact and like her for who she is. Some people can accept Emma and some people can't. I think that's a shame because Emma's a good person. If you see someone with a disability, go up to them and shake their hand. Get to know them better. Accept them. So the second step in dealing with difference is to accept someone's difference. When you go out somewhere and you hear a loud noise, you usually look and stare. But with my sister, people stare a lot. All I think about is why. But now that I've grown up, I understand why. People can sometimes be nosy. Want to know why my parents aren't trying to shut her up or are afraid to ask questions about her in front of my family. What I would like people to do instead of just thinking these things is come up and ask. That's what my neighbors did. Meeting Emma for the first time, they didn't know what was wrong with her. But they ask and now they understand how different Emma is. The third thing you need to know when dealing with difference is not just to stare. But ask questions. It's okay. Emma has a loving family. However, my mother and father aren't the only people in her life. Nilda is also involved. Nilda has been Emma's therapist for many years and understands kids like Emma. Here are some questions she's answered about Emma being different. I have been so happy to see all the changes in Emma in the last five years. They're amazing. Very amazing. Okay. How do you want people to see or treat Emma? like you would treat anybody else. Is it your role to change her, to be perfect, or just to make Emma better? My role is to give her quality of life. And would you change anything about Emma? Absolutely not. As Nilda said before, I would not change anything about my sister. She is awesome and will always be. I love how she embraces her difference. The last thing people need to remember is that it's okay to be different. Embrace it all the time, whether it's the clothes you wear or the disabilities you have. We're all different in our own special ways.